and welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview on the fastest way that you can take content from an existing Canvas course, copy or import it into a new Canvas course. So this is really helpful as we get more familiar with using Canvas and have it from year to year or from semester to semester. If you are someone who teaches similar content or a similar course load, from year to year or even semester to semester. You don't have to reinvent the wheel and recreate all of your things. It's really easy to copy content from one Canvas course into another. You can always do that from modules or even by opening individual resources. But if you want to copy an entire course and just get it all, which is the most efficient thing to do, then I have a really helpful way for you to do that in Canvas. So you actually gonna start this a little bit backwards. You're gonna go into the course that you wanna put all of the stuff into. So this is likely your new course where you don't have any existing content. So if I am looking at some of my courses right now, let's imagine this is a pretty empty one. This is just what I use for training. I wanna put in stuff from some of the history classes that I used to teach. So what I need to do is open up this new course that I wanna put the content into. And there's a couple of buttons that I need to press here. It really just depends on your preference. If I'm already on the home page in this course, I can click this button over here on the right hand side. If I'm a middle school or high school teacher, I'll click import existing content. The other way that I can get to this as a middle school or high school teacher is if I scroll down and click the settings button. Then what I'll do is make sure I'm on the settings menu and then course details and then import course content. That's the exact same screen it takes you to. So you can either get to that from here or from import existing content from that home page. Doesn't matter which one you use, you get to the same place. If you are an elementary teacher, what you are going to do is click manage subject, and then you're gonna come over, and then you're gonna do import course content. So whenever we get there, our screen is probably going to look a little something like this, okay? So in this drop down menu where it says content type, what I'm going to do is select this one here that says copy a Canvas course, all right? And then here you might see two spaces. Your screen might be slightly different than mine, but it will still get you to the same place. And what you're going to do is search for the course that you wanna copy into this one. So we're in our blank course right now. We're gonna search for the course that has all the existing content. And if you have been using Canvas already, your screen's a little bit different than mine, you might actually see a drop down menu here of Canvas courses that you've taught before. The big thing is I would say just make sure that you have this checkbox here that says include completed courses, because technically whenever a grading period is ended, that course is completed and you wanna make sure that's one that you can pull from, okay? So for me, I see every course in Canvas, so this is a little crazy. So I can start typing in the name of the course if I want to. I could have that maybe open another tab so I could just copy and paste the name of that course in here. It's gonna show any type of course where I've been the teacher. If you are someone who has Canvas admin permissions, it's going to show a lot of courses for you as well. But essentially you'll just wanna select the course with all of the content that you want to have imported. Okay, so I'll select that. And then here's where I have some options. I recommend just selecting all content and then moving on from there. If you know you're only going to want to copy in some things, maybe not everything, then you could do select specific content. And then after I click that button, it's going to give me an option to select what content I want to import. And I have some screenshots in the written guide that show you that. My preference is just doing all content. So then it's all there and I can delete things, move things around if I need to. So I'll do all content. And then you have an additional option here where you can adjust events and due dates. So what you'll need to do is either remove the dates or you can shift them. So the thing to know here is that you'll enter in the day of the class that you're copying content from, so where that start date was, and then what you want that to be changed to. So if I taught this class first semester, and it's only semester long class, our first day of school maybe was August 3rd. So I would put that date here. All right, I can put that in and then I can change it to maybe what I'm doing second semester or maybe we're starting back on January 8th. Then I would put January 8th in this space and then I could change the end date as well. That is up to you. If you just want to remove the dates and start fresh, then you can do that. And then it just will set your assignments as not having due dates and some of those pieces and you can go in and change them. Or you could totally just shift the dates. It is up to you. Um, 
just your personal preference. All right. And the next thing you'll do is click import. And it will tell you that it's queuing up this process and it's going. So elementary teachers, this is super helpful for you from year to year. Um, this is also just helpful for our nine weeks teachers that have different courses for every nine weeks. This is really what you're going to be going through at the start of every school year. Now that we have Canvas, you can copy all of your content from an existing course into a new one. So it will tell you that it's running. You will likely get an email as well whenever it's finished. You don't have to stay on the screen. You can totally go and do other things. And then it will tell you that it's completed. It might tell you that we have an issue. All right. And this is because if you are a middle school or high school teacher, we have gradebook syncing set up between Canvas and Power Teacher Pro. And in this past course, I had that set up. And now it's saying that's go that's that course is trying to go back in time. It wants me to basically reset up that gradebook syncing, which we'll have to do. But they'll tell you any other issues here. So after it finishes doing that, you might refresh your page and it might take you a few minutes here for everything to finish applying in your course. But after I do that, I can go into my modules now and I'll see all of those different pages and things that I had copied in. After you have imported content into your course, I will say that you probably still have to go in and change your homepage on your course. And once you do that, you should be good to go. So to change your homepage, you can choose homepage and then select a different one from there. Or you can go into your pages menu and then set a different one as your homepage as well. And that's all just kind of in our, our back to school and our setup guides. So other things to know here, if you are a middle school or high school teacher, you do need to go back in and do your grade setup. So it's syncing between Canvas and Power Teacher Pro. That is something you'll have to do every time you get a new course. So that's just the name of the game and the way it goes. Other things that I would recommend is just double checking that all of your links are working correctly and going into student view and kind of testing things out from there as well. But this is just a really fast way to set up your course and to make things easier for you as you move ahead. So if you have any questions, please let us know. And thanks for watching.